Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking the link and watching my very first video that I've uploaded to YouTube. Um, I have procrastinated with this channel for a very long time and I thought it would be finally time to put up something and really take a chance and venture out on this avenue of doing a YouTube page. So I truly appreciate you watching this video. It's only about six minutes long and basically over this time lapse that I'm doing of the character Totoro, I'm just going to be talking a little bit about myself, um, what kind of art I like, how long I've been doing art, you know, I drink coffee every day now, um, and, you know, also what my plans are for this YouTube page in general, what I want to do and, you know, um, how a lot of you fit into that, that picture. And so, again, I can't thank you enough. Those of you that I guilt tripped on my social media to click the link, thank you so much for enduring my annoying voice. Um, so anyways, my name is David. Um, I am an artist. I have been an artist my whole life. A lot of people know me by the uh, nickname Ducky. Um, in a future video, I will explain why and how I got that nickname. But uh, yeah, I've been doing art my whole life. Um, my mom always tells me that it pretty much started when I was a kid, two or three years old, which it's like, no duh, a lot of people apparently start at that age. But yeah, art's been there primarily my whole life and it's been an outlet it's been a blessing um it's been frustrating it's been everything that art brings to the table um in addition to being a you know um, a painter and a you know color pencil and sketch artist i also do graphic design a little bit here and there mainly through procreate and the ipad and i also tattoo i've been tattooing now for about between I always kind of like bracket it between 16 and 20 years. I first picked up a tattoo machine in 2003. And that was, you know, even through all the ups and downs of my career. And there was periods of time where I wasn't doing it as consistently. I've always stuck with it. And um, yeah, my style or just what I'm drawn to artistically is just, I love abstract. I love surreal um, one of my favorite artists is Salvador Dali, and he was one of the artists that was very instrumental in just getting me to look outside the box of what was expected from art. You know, you have your basics, you definitely want to have those basics and those fundamentals instilled in you. And then from then, I think you can have the freedom to do whatever you want. And so Salvador was one of the artists that really kind of just inspired me to be creative and so abstract and surrealism is what I love um, sometimes it's not always going to be very crazy when I incorporate that style into my pieces or my tattoos but it's definitely something that it forces me to kind of have to think outside the box of what's expected from your normal picture so even a, a character like Totoro obviously there's been so many amazing versions of him done and even this specific watercolor painting wasn't like super creative um, I mainly just wanted to paint him and have a time lapse that I could upload it to my channel. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I think I want to say that I worked on this about maybe four, four and a half hours, give or take, with some breaks here and there that I took um, throughout the evening. But it was a lot of fun. Um, I've been doing watercolor now for maybe a little over 10 years, but it's been kind of broken up. And so I've really been kind of getting a better understanding of it, taking better, you know, just control of the medium itself. But I love oil, I love acrylic, um, I love gouache, uh, work in spray paints and various things like that. And so a lot of that kind of inter integrates and, and kind of inspires each other throughout all the various mediums that I work with. Um, so future plans. So this channel is an opportunity for me to kind of kill so many birds with one stone. And sorry for you bird lovers if that, you know, idiom doesn't work for you. But um, yeah, you know, I'm a very shy person. I'm kind of, I'm a mixture of outgoing, but also kind of reclusive. And so this YouTube channel is an opportunity for me to not only get my art out into a wider spectrum of audience, but also, you know, put myself in a uncomfortable situation, like possibly being on camera in the future and talking to you about art and connecting with the general public through the platform of YouTube. And so this is long overdue. I mean, it's, it's, it's been, art has been such a blessing to me and I want to share that with the audience, you guys. And so my goal is also to be able to have tutorials like this with kind of like how I do certain things, the, the 
artistic approach that I take, my thinking behind pieces, as well as, you know, um, you know, answering any questions that someone may have, giving any kind of guidance or encouragement. Um, my faith plays a big deal in why I do art, and so I'll be sharing that in future videos as well. Um, obviously open to live streams and doing things like that. But yeah, that's, you know, that's what I really want to do with this YouTube channel. And so, gosh, I, I admire so many that do it, um, that will talk for hours on end. And sometimes I feel like I have a lot to say and sometimes I feel like I don't. And so even right now, this is, this is, this is a big step for me. And so I truly appreciate the support. Um, in the comment section, you know, maybe share with me your favorite kind of art, your favorite artists, your favorite anime. Um, anime's been really blowing up over these last like maybe six, seven years, especially during the uh, pandemic. And so, yeah, you know, please like, share, subscribe, um, leave a comment if you want to. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for many video, many more videos. And um, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. And I look forward to seeing you in the future with more videos. Take care.